Dear chapter leaders, we are here today to offer you some tips to help you when submitting your chapter's activity report. As you all know, your chapter is required to submit annually a financial report and an activity report based on the chapter agreement your chapter signed with ICF professional coaches. The reporting period for the activity report is September 1 through August 31st. The report is due on October 31st. We have a worksheet for you to see the questions in advance, and once you are ready, you will complete the report online and in English via the link for Open Water. See the link below this video. We will go over instructions about the platform you will use to complete the activity report at the end of the video. Before we start, we want you to know how much we at ICF appreciate and value you and the work you do in your chapter. I am Stephanie Norris, ICF Awards Director. And I am Mickey Gustafson, ICF Regional Development Manager. The information that is required in the activity report originated from the chapter agreement and the criteria for high performing chapters. The information you provide helps ICF gather the data to assess the health of our chapters, what additional resources may be needed, and help us determine the high performing chapters for the chapter recognition award. Our volunteer review panel uses these reports to determine which chapters are our highest performing chapters for chapter recognition awards. What is assessed and what we want to know about our chapters so that we can better support you as a chapter leader in your chapter is the following. The first and second criteria that are measured are that the chapter will create an attractive, credible presence and voice for professional coaching in its local community, and at the same time will advance the profession of coaching. For these criteria, we want to know, how does your chapter work with the businesses and organizations in your community? How does it work with other organizations? These could also be non-for-profit. How many events does your chapter offer annually? Do you have any awards for businesses or for individuals or for other organizations that you offer? Also, do you have a conference that happens year after year? And if so, how do you finance these? Are any of the, these a source of income for your chapters? Does your chapter charge for these events? Do you have partnerships that offer benefits to your membership? We would like to know what pro bono coaching projects your chapter has offered in your community. Has your chapter created social impact opportunities for the coaches in your chapter? Are you working with other organizations in this aspect? The third criteria that is measured is membership engagement. That is what we call insurer's infrastructure. What we want to know basically here is about your chapter's role in engaging with your current membership and in attracting new members to grow your community of professional coaches. Tell us how you do it. Do you welcome and mentor your new members? What offerings go out to connect with members and how? And what communication channels do you use the most? In talking about the fourth criteria, governance, we are evaluating the foundation of your chapter. Here we want to know how well your chapter board works as a team. We want to know how tasks and responsibilities are shared amongst your board members. We want to know also if you have a leadership pipeline in place. And we want to know about your strategic plan for your chapter. In the questions that we asked, you'll see some of the following. Are there any vacancies on your board? Does your board as a team go over the cha ICF chapter leader ethical guidelines? Is your board familiar with the bylaws of your chapter? Have your board members completed their volunteer leaders training? Has your board members as a whole, contact at your regional development manager. Are you participating in regional forums? Do you have a strategic plan in place? Do you have a succession plan in place? 
Having these items in place is important to have a long lasting chapter and a healthy chapter. Absolutely. Now we will talk about finances. The fifth criteria is that chapters need to ensure financial viability. Here we would like to know what your chapter that your chapter has created some way of generating funds that is not related to the ICF rebates or chapter membership fees. Does your chapter charge for events? Does your chapter have partnerships that generate income? Do your members know about this? And lastly, we list the core qualities of a high performing chapter. Here we would like you to give us a real example of how your chapter exhibits each one of the seven qualities. If you don't have an example, you can enter in a or not applicable. Finally, we left some space at the end of the activity report form for you to tell us if you had had any specific challenges or any other successes or otherwise that you want to share with us from this reporting period. And we would like to have the board list of the current board members for your chapter. We believe that this is a team effort. So get your whole board involved in compiling this information for your chapter activity report. One person will submit the report but you can have many collaborators from your chapter board. Having the whole board's input is very helpful. Now some instructions to submit. You will go into the link that is provided here and log in with your ICF user and password, just like when you log in to the coachingfederation.org website. You'll go to my applications and start a new one or if you have started it, you can continue with the one you have in progress. Once you're in your submission, you can navigate from the underlined titles on the top of every section of the report, as well as add a collaborator or more to assist in the reporting. Remember to click on save when you enter information from your chapter. Only when you're ready to submit the whole report, you will click on that last button that says save and finalize. We hope this video helps you as a chapter leader in your reporting to ICF. Please do not hesitate to contact your regional team with any questions that might arise. Thank you again for all you do as a chapter leader. We consider you the backbone of our organization. We cannot strive as we do without you. We want to thank you again so much for your commitment to your volunteer leadership role in a chapter. Please know that you have the whole of ICF here to support you always. And thank you very much.